love, love, do we really got it? Love, love, do we really got it? Relationship God, 101, relationship God, 101. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Relationship God 101. Relationship God 101. And today I'm going to be talking about how to keep him interested. Shout out to my promoter, Vicky Sam, because she uh, sent me this article to read to you guys. And that's what I'm going to do because this content, we do different things. So, a daddy wrote a letter to his daughter about her future husband. But he wants every woman to read it. So I'm going to share it because it, it's, it's dope. Dear Cutie Pie, recently your mother and I were searching for an answer on Google. Halfway through answering the question, Google returned a list of the most popular searches in the world. Perched at the top of the list was how to keep him interested. Mm, how to keep him interested? Nice, okay. Anyway, it startled me. I scanned several of the countless articles about how to be sexy and sexual when to bring him a bear versus a sandwich, and then ways to make him feel smart and superior. Wow. And I got angry. Little one, it's not, little one, it's, it's not, or has never been and never will be your job to keep him interested. Little one, you can only task, your only task is to know deeply in your soul that is in an unshakable place that isn't rattled by rejection and loss and ego that you are worthy of interest. If you can remember that everyone else is worthy of interest also, the battle of your life will be mostly won. But that in a letter, but that's in a letter for another day, excuse my reading, you know, the words are small, so don't feel like I'm messing up on purpose. Um, if you can trust your worth in this way, you will be attractive in the most important sense of the word. You will attract a boy who is both capable of interest and who wants to spend his life investing all of his interest in you. That's real, you know, you need somebody who wants you for who you are, not for what you actually do for them or whatever the case is all the time. Little one, I want to tell you about the boy who doesn't need to be kept interested because he knows you are interested. I don't care if he puts his elbows on the dinner table, as long as he puts his eyes on the way your nose scrunches when you smile, and then just can't stop looking. Nice. That's, that's tight. And okay. I don't care if he can't play a bit of golf with me, as long as he can play with the children you give him and reveal in all the glorious and frustrating ways they are just like you. I don't care if he doesn't follow his wallet, as long as he follows his heart and it always leads him back to you. I don't care if he's strong, as long as he gives you the space and exercise the strength that is invested in your heart. I could care less about how or who he votes, as long as he wakes up every morning and daily elects you to a place of honor in your home and a place of reverence in his heart. I don't care about the color of his skin, as long as he paints the canvas of your lives with brush strokes of patience and sacrifice and vulnerability and tenderness. Nice. I don't care if he was raised in a religion or that religion or no religion, as long as he was raised to value the sacred and to know every moment of life and every moment of life with you is deeply sacred. And in the end, little one, if you stumble across a man like that and he and I have nothing else in common, we will have the most important thing in common you because in the end little one the only thing you should have to do to keep him interested is be you that's real so if you meet somebody and you want to keep him interested there's no keeping him interested be who you are that should be enough to make them be attractive or propelled towards you you don't have to sacrifice, you don't have to change certain things because you are who you are before you met that person. Always be yourself. Thank you. Tune in for more. Excuse my reading. The writings were small, but I hope you get the message. Be you.